1. Which of the following is the southern limit of the western lowlands? Tbaroakobo Lowlands B. Omogaib Lowlands C. Abedinder Lowlands D. Tekezangareb Lowlands The correct answer is F. Baroakobo Lowlands. The Baroakobo Lowlands serve as the southern limit of the western lowlands. These lowlands are located in southwestern Ethiopia and extend along the Barrow River and Akobo. River. 2. Which one describes the general characteristics of Ethiopian rivers? A. They are very suitable for water transportation. B. Most rivers originate from lowland. C. They are perennial with steady volume of water. D. They serve as domestic and international boundaries. The correct answer is C. Ethiopian rivers are generally perennial with a steady volume of water. Ethiopia has several rivers that flow throughout the year, providing a consistent water supply. These rivers are fed by rainfall and highland sources, which contribute to their perennial nature. Many of these rivers are vital for irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, and supporting agriculture in the region. 3. What characterizes the inland inage system of Ethiopia? A. It drains most parts of the northwestern Ethiopia. B. It includes the river basins of the Omogaib. C. Its rivers join the Red Sea during the summer season. D. It is the largest in terms of the discharge of water. The correct answer is B. The inland drainage system of Ethiopia includes the river basins of the Omogaib. The Omogaib river basins are a significant part of the inland drainage system in Ethiopia. This system consists of rivers and their associated drainage networks that do not flow into the ocean or sea, but instead drain into internal basins or end in inland lakes. The Omogaib River basins are located in southwestern Ethiopia and contribute to the overall inland drainage system of the country. 4. Which one of the following explains the temporal variation of rainfall in? A. Spring is the rainy season in most parts of Ethiopia. B. I. N. Autumn, many places in Ethiopia receive the highest rainfall. C. There is little seasonal variation in the amount of rain in Ethiopia. D. The lowlands of Afar typically receive rain in summer. The correct answer is D. The lowlands of Afar typically receive rain in summer. Ethiopia experiences a diverse range of climatic patterns, and the temporal variation of rainfall varies across different regions. In the lowlands of Afar, the typical pattern is to receive rainfall during the summer season. The summer months, which generally fall between June and September, are characterized by the rainy season in the lowlands of Afar. This is in contrast to other regions. In Ethiopia where rainfall patterns may differ, such as spring being the rainy season in some parts or higher rainfall in autumn in other areas. 5. Which one is correct about the Ethiopian woodland savanna vegetation? A. It is very similar to European alpine vegetation. B. It is known for dense acacia trees. C. It grows mainly along the river banks. D. It is found both in the highlands and lowlands. The correct answer is D. Ethiopian woodland savanna vegetation is found both in the highlands and lowlands. The woodland savanna vegetation in Ethiopia is a type of vegetation that occurs in various parts of the country, including both the highland and lowland areas. It is characterized by a mix of trees, grasses, and shrubs, with varying densities depending on the specific location and environmental conditions. This vegetation type plays an 
important role in supporting biodiversity and providing habitat for various wildlife species in Ethiopia. 6. If you were asked by a tourist who wanted to see Chelad Babu which specific national park would be your recommendation Ethiopia? A. The Bale Mountains B. The Nesh Sar Park C. The Semaine Highlands D. The Awash Park If a tourist wants to see Chelad Baboons, my recommendation would be B. The Nesh Sar Park Nesh Sar National Park is located in the southern nations, nationalities, and people's region of Ethiopia. It is known for its diverse wildlife, including the Chelad baboon, also known as the Gelada baboon or Bleeding Heart baboon. The park is home to a significant population of Chelad baboons, and visitors have a good chance of observing them in their natural habitat. The park also offers beautiful landscapes, lakes, and other wildlife to explore making it a great destination for nature enthusiasts and wildlife lovers. 7. If you are asked to propose a strategy for reservation of wildlife where hunting is strictly forbidden, what would be your suggestion as conservation area? a. National parks b. Sanctuaries c. Game reserves d. Zoological gardens if hunting is strictly forbidden and the goal is to conserve wildlife, my suggestion would be it in national parks. National parks are typically established with the primary objective of conservation and protection of natural ecosystems, including wildlife. They are designated areas where hunting and other forms of exploitation are strictly prohibited. National parks aim to preserve biodiversity, protect habitats, and ensure the long-term survival of wildlife species. National parks often have strict regulations and management practices in place to prevent hunting and promote the conservation of wildlife. 8. Which measure of soil conservation should be widely used against soil erosion in arid and Semi-arid areas of the horn A. Terracing B. Intercrop C. Check dams D. Shelter belts The correct answer is D. Shelter belt In arid and semi-arid areas of the horn, where water availability is limited and the risk of soil erosion is high, shelter belts can be widely used as a measure of soil conservation. Shelter belts, also known as windbreaks or wind barriers, involve planting rows of trees or shrubs along the edges of fields or in strategic locations to create a barrier against wind erosion. Strong winds are a common feature in arid and semi-arid regions, and they can cause significant soil erosion by carrying away loose topsoil. Shelter belts help mitigate this erosion by reducing wind speed, creating turbulence, and trapping airborne soil particles. They act as a physical barrier that intercepts the wind, reducing its erosive force and preventing soil loss. By establishing shelter belts, the impact of wind erosion can be minimized, protecting the soil and preserving its fertility. Additionally, shelter belts can provide other benefits such as shade, reducing evaporation, and creating microclimates that support the growth of other vegetation. 9. Which following igneous rock has clearly observed crystals and coarse? A. Obsidian B. Granite C. Marble D. Basalt The correct answer is B. Granite Granite is an igneous rock that typically has clearly observed crystals and a coarse texture. It forms from the slow cooling and solidification of molten magma deep within the Earth's crust. As 
The magma cools slowly, large mineral crystals have time to grow and develop, resulting in a coarse grain texture. Obsidian, on the other hand, is an igneous rock that forms from rapidly cooled lava and lacks visible crystals. It has a glassy texture. Marble is a metamorphic rock that forms from the recrystallization of limestone. It often has a crystalline texture, but the crystal size may vary. Basalt is an igneous rock that forms from the rapid cooling of lava on the Earth's surface. It typically has a fine grain texture with microscopic crystals that are not easily observed with the naked eye. 10. One of the following is a poorly drained and aerated soil type. Which one is it? A loam soils. B. Silt soils. C. Clay soils. D. Sandy soils. The correct answer is C. Clay soils. Clay soils are known for being poorly drained and having inadequate aeration. Clay particles are very small and have a high water holding capacity. As a result, clay soils tend to retain water for longer periods and have limited drainage. This can lead to waterlogging and poor aeration, which can negatively impact plant growth and root development. 11. Which of the following is correct about natural causes of climate change? A. Continental drift changes the flow of ocean currents and winds. B. Volcanic eruption leads to atmospheric heating. C. Natural causes are becoming the major causes of climate change. D. Ocean currents via releasing water vapor have a net cooling effect. The correct answer is A. Continental drift changes the flow of ocean currents and winds. Continental drift, which refers to the movement of tectonic plates over long periods, can indeed impact the flow of ocean currents and winds. As continents shift and collide, they can alter the geography of the Earth's surface, affecting the circulation patterns of both ocean currents and atmospheric winds. These changes in circulation can have significant Implications for regional and global climate patterns. 12. How do you explain the spatiotemporal distribution of temperature in Ethiopia? A. Annual range of temperature is greater than the daily range. B. Temperature decreases from the center to the peripheries. C. Daily range of temperature is the highest winter season. D. Highlands exhibit the highest annual range of temperature. The correct answer is D. Highlands exhibit the highest annual range of temperature. Ethiopia's spatiotemporal distribution of temperature is largely influenced by its diverse topography, which includes highlands, plateaus, and lowland areas. The highlands, including the Ethiopian highlands and the central mountain ranges, have a significant impact on temperature patterns in the country. Due to their higher elevation, the highlands experience cooler temperatures. Compared to the lowland areas, the temperature decreases with increasing altitude, resulting in a decrease in temperature from the lowland peripheries towards the central highlands. This pattern is observed both spatially and temporally, with cooler temperatures found in the highland regions and Warmer temperatures in the lowland areas. 13. Which climatic zone of Ethiopia experiences hot temperature, small cloud cover and very windy conditions throughout the year? Dega. B. Bariha. C. Dega. D. Wirch. The correct answer is B. Bariha. Bariha is a climatic zone in Ethiopia that experiences hot temperatures, small cloud cover, and very windy conditions throughout the year. This zone is characterized by its arid and semi-arid climate, with limited rainfall and high temperatures. 
Woina Dega A is a climatic zone in Ethiopia characterized by moderate temperatures and a mix of agriculture and forested areas. Dega C is a climatic zone in Ethiopia that usually has cooler temperatures due to its higher elevation. It is characterized by a more temperate climate and is often associated with areas of highland forests. Wurch, D, is not a recognized climatic zone in Ethiopia. Therefore, the correct answer is B, Bariha. 14. Why are some regions of the world more sparsely populated than others? This is because of the A. Availability of fertile soil B. Presence of a favorable climate C. Practice of farm economic activity D. Existence of rugged topography The correct answer is D. Existence of rugged topography Some regions of the world are more sparsely populated than others primarily due to the existence of rugged topography. Rugged topography refers to areas that have challenging physical features such as mountains, steep slopes, deserts, or dense forests, making them less suitable for human settlement and agricultural activities. 15. What type of migration results when governments move war and natural disaster affected people to new places? A. Evacuee B. Resettlement C. Transhumance D. Refugee The correct answer is B. Resettlement When governments move war and natural disaster affected people to new places, it is referred to as resettlement. Resettlement involves the deliberate relocation of individuals or communities from their original homes to new areas in order to protect them from the impacts of conflict or natural disasters. Hello and welcome to Gemichu Shifara's channel, where you can find a diverse range of content including news, blogging, information, vines, and much more. Based in Ethiopia, Gemichu brings you the latest updates and entertainment every week, so make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. By subscribing to this channel, you'll get access to exclusive benefits and be part of a community that values knowledge, creativity, and fun. Thank you for your support and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video.